If you're an entrepreneur, you probably believe in taking massive action. But what if that massive action leads you down the wrong direction towards disaster? And you and I both know that such things have happened before. And there are a few reasons why this happens. Firstly, as entrepreneurs, we're just you know, down in the grind. We're looking through a microscope at that thing that we want to tweak, whether it's that latest growth hack or whatever it might be. We're just focusing on that when an opportunity arrives is before us, but we can't see it because we're just so microscopically attached. As a result, we tend to set ourselves back by taking far more effort than we normally should. As a result, it's not just a setback in terms of time and resources, it's also a setback in terms of your confidence. Confidence in yourself and other people's confidence in you. What you need to do, therefore, is to move away from only taking massive action. I'm not saying it's not important, it is, but move away from that until you can get massive alignment. How do you get alignment? Well, there are a few things that come to mind. Firstly, you need to understand your core purpose. Your core purpose can be found by discovering how you've impacted other people through the results you've gotten for them, how you've made them feel, and in return, how that enabled you to feel connected to a meaning. What exactly is that core purpose? Think about the people whom you've impacted and how you have created that result for them. But look beyond just the result. Look at how they felt and notice how you felt in resonance to that. That is what you're after. You're looking at that impact, that feeling of impact that you've created for other people. That is what creates meaning inside your life. And as you ground yourself in that, start thinking about more and more people where you created this impact. If you haven't been able to find out, go ask, what is the impact that you've generated for other people? And then, once you ground yourself in that, you have a confluence of two things, your purpose and your mission. These two things combined give you your passion. Now, this passion cannot be underestimated. It is something that wells up from inside out, inspires you and other people. It is your energy source for many, many months and years to come. If you don't keep tapping into that and you're constantly looking through that microscope only, what's going to happen? You're going to forget. You're eventually going to build a business that you didn't want, that you have no meaning or attachment to, let alone feel anything for the clients whom you've served in the first place. So it is highly important that you get grounded in your purpose. Ask yourself why that's so important to you, why that impact is so meaningful to you, and you'll come across your values. It is what's important to you that forms up your values set. Now, with an understanding of your passion and your values, these two things combined are going to help you to picture a future which is much more meaningful. How are you going to proceed knowing that you have these core passions and strengths and you want the world to know about it. As you begin to think about that, then you have a pathway from point A to point B. And it's going to be relatively easy now. All you're doing is you're throwing everything, whatever it takes, into taking that massive action. So I hope this has been useful for you. The core is understanding your purpose. If you'd like an experience of how to do this, as you can tell, all this is about the core mindset of entrepreneurship that very few people talk about. At Superscaling, one of the things that we do is to upgrade and tweak the mindset of our members. If you want to find out a little bit more and you want to walk through an experience of how this is like, all you need to do is type in mindset in the comments down below and I'll get back to you.